I'm Dr. Eden Rausch, physician at Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. Uh, I was born and raised in New Jersey. Um, I've spent the majority of my life in New Jersey. Um, however, did venture out a little further away to New York, um, went to uh, Cornell University and uh, majored in nutritional sciences and um, then came back to New Jersey to complete medical school at uh, Robert Wood Johnson University uh, Hospital and did a joint degree program there in um, epidemiology and got my master's in public health at the same time and then went back to New York City and uh, completed my residency at uh, New York Presbyterian uh, Cornell and remained there to complete my fellowship as well in reproductive endocrinology. Music has always been a real big portion of my life. I actually played the violin for, I don't know, 15 years. So um, I do appreciate classical music quite a bit. Um, and every now and again, I do like to go to the uh, orchestra, the Philharmonic, if I get the opportunity to. It doesn't happen much, but um, when I do, I love it. It's a treat for me. and. Um, I do like all types of music. I mean, I like Billy Joel, Elton John, more of the softer rock, um, and uh, Carole King, that, that type of music, just the nice relaxing, Dave, uh, James Taylor sometimes, so nothing too crazy. I've been playing tennis probably since as long as I can remember. Um, I think it's just, you know, it's great act, exercise, it's a lot of fun to hit the tennis ball, and it's great family sport. My husband plays, and my kids are starting to play. I love to spend time with my children and my husband. Um, it doesn't matter really what we do, it's just that we're together. In the spring, you know, I love to plant uh, with my daughter, so she looks forward to uh, planting an herb garden that we have outside, and I love to cook, so we use a lot of those herbs, and it's exciting because they start to grow and we can use them in the food. Sometimes patients come in and say, you know, my friend did X, Y, and Z, and so that's what I want to do. And I try to you know, tell the patient that we have to take a step back and let's look at you and your husband or your partner as, as a couple and um, let's, let's see what, where you fit into the treatment plan. Not that just because X, Y, and Z may have worked for your friend, it, it may be completely different for your case. A really successful laboratory is important to the success of the patient. Um, and you see that even more now in practice when patients are, you know, coming from different places and you, you get a look at, you know, the laboratory and the conditions in the laboratory. And I've always said that to my patients that, you know, the, the laboratory is really the, one of the key things behind what we do. Nutrition is, you know, does play a big role in certain etiologies of infertility. Um, obesity is, you know, as we know, a, a massive epidemic in the United States. Um, and it does impact fertility in, in many different ways and usually negatively. When a patient walks out of a consult, first consult with me, I want them to feel comfortable. And I want them, when they come in, to feel that I'm, you know, in completely invested in their case. Um, which I am, I want them to know that I'm reachable if I'm not a, in a particular office or I'm not you know, in the office that day. I want them to have a way to, to get in touch with me if they need to. Um, and I will call them. Oftentimes I'll check in with them uh, when they're not expecting a call from me just to make sure that they're, again, the comfort level is there because I think you know, there's a lot of stress in what we do. Um, and to just at, at least alleviate that portion of it um, so that the patient's comfortable with their doctor and they're more comfortable with the expectations of what they're gonna have to go through, um, I think really helps, helps uh, this process.